Number 54, a double slit produces a diffraction pattern that is a combination of single and double slit interference. Find the ratio of the width of the slits to the separation between them. Uh, if the first minimum of the single slit pattern falls on the fifth maximum of the double slit. All right. So basically this formula here describes the minimum all right, minimum uh, patterns for single slits, and it also describes the maximum patterns for double slits. So in other words, I'm gonna create two equations here. Right, this, let's call this the distance between the single slit, okay, so we'll put a little s there, multiplied by the sine of the angle, will be equal to the uh, order, okay, of the for, in this case it's gonna be for the single slit, they said it's a first order minimum for the single, so that's fine, times then lambda, the wavelength of the light, you know, uh, entering the single slit. And then here we're gonna do all DW. So this is going to, or DDs, meaning uh, this will be the distance between the double slit net <clears throat> times the sine of the angle. And I'll put a little S over there, so I'll put a little D here. And this is then the order of the maximum now, because I'm talking about a double slit, all right, times the wavelength of the light passing through the double slit. So since these two are being overlaid upon one another, the angles are going to be identical. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get rid of the S and the D and because I wanna show that they are indeed the same. Um, also, the light, the wavelength of the light is unchanging. The wavelength, it doesn't, who cares what you know type of uh, slit it's passing through. So I'm gonna get rid of those subscripts. Now what I realize is, well, maybe I can find a ratio because that's kind of what they're asking, right? Find a ratio, okay? So what I will do is I will <clears throat> take now this ds sine theta is equal to ms times the wavelength, and now divide that by basically this formula, okay? dd sine theta, that was also equal to md theta. All right, now, since these are both equal, you could just make one little equal sign in the middle. Now, again, the wavelengths are the same, so they go bye-bye, but also the angles were the same, so the sine of those angles will also go bye-bye. So in other words, what we have is we have this, ms over md. Now, this is basically what we're trying to find. This is what they're asking for, the ratio between the single slit width and the double. And that's gonna be equal to now the uh, order of the single, the minimum, because remember, uh, for a single slit, that formula was for a minimum. So that's the first order. So ds over dd is gonna be equal to one divided by then what's the order for the maximum one? Well, it's the fifth, right, for the double slit. So that's basically the answer here. Um, and then you can reorganize this <coughs> however you like. So why don't we just cross multiply everything basically? And we realize that then dd will equal then five ds, okay? So five times then the width <coughs> distance between the double, five times the width between the single. And uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. I hope you were able to help us out by liking and subscribing. And uh, yeah, check out some more of our videos. We got a whole bunch of other stuff out there, different subjects to solve problems. So if we were to help you in your physics class, maybe we're able to help you also in your math class or chemistry class or statistics class or organic chem class or biochemistry class or calculus class or you get the idea we'll see you soon